the question. Always. And read carefully. Very carefully. We know you'll do well. You always do well. Just try not to cough it off. Keep an eye on the time. And don't spend too long on, on one, one question. question. You're about to do well. You're so good at exams. Mr. Pringle said so. At the parents' evening, she's weird at exams. That's what he said. But then she's weird at everything. His very words. I will mean when you get back. She's my star. He said. You have to make things like the others. Take plenty of pens. I'm out line dancing. Lots of pens. You never know when pen lets you down. True. Pens are like that. We'll be thinking of you. I've got eclairs for tea. Celebration eclairs. I'm not sure what time I'll be back. Good luck, dear. No, no, actually, no, I like sockets. Good luck, dear. You might not be so lucky next time. I know exams are tough. You better smell it, dear. Life is tough. But exciting. Life a jungle. An exciting jungle. And if you're in the jungle, you want to be a cheer, not a limping over this. Just do your best. We're so proud of you. You know you do your best. So very proud. And if your best is rubbish, well, there you go. Remember, don't panic. Panic never helps. Don't worry. We're not worried. Don't mess about. Don't freeze. Don't rush. Don't worry. Don't hurry. And, and don't, don't get nervous. Mr. Big Game Cover. What's up, us can you dream of something like that? Listen, you've been ill. That's a bona fide reason not to put yourself through this. You don't have to face it today. I do have to face it. I always have to face them. I never mind him. What do you want to do? I want to be in Robinson. What? I'm trying to 
much, everyone. We come in as a place called Robinson. And every morning, I would think to myself, would it be wonderful to just not get off a train? So sit there and say, Robinson, then get off, have a look at my own time, then maybe jump on a train, maybe to Brighton, go float into the sea. Have you ever felt like that? Of course I have. Everyone has. We don't like to stay on the train, lose ourselves. But we can't, so forget Orpington, ignore your oh, dad. Oh, yeah, like, that's very really possible. Of course it's possible. You don't understand what it's like to raise. You are starved. No one has to be done with the mental wiggling. You had it easy. Oh, you think it's easy, do you? Easy to do with all that endless, excruciating chorus of... We are so very proud of you. Very proud. You have done so brilliantly. Amazingly brilliantly. Your auntie, she's very proud as well. She's coming on later. For tea. With the class. And to make plans. For the party. Your big party. And you'll play your violin for her if she asks, won't you? On this, she loves to hear you play. And she was so disappointed last time. When you do want to... Oh yes, I'm really looking forward to being force-fed chocolate clairs and being paraded like a show pony. Ooh, and lucky me, they want to throw a party for me where mom can tell everyone how I've done amazingly brilliantly and just generally double up the adverbs like some posse hits jockey. And if I'm really lucky, they might even get up and dance. Always read the question. And read it carefully. Always very carefully. We know you will do well. You always do well. We're so proud of you. Just try not to cock it up. Always check what you've done. You're such a silly sod. A lot of time at the end. To check what you've done. Don't get panicky. Treat it as a challenge. Don't play. An exciting challenge. There will be an eclair. Many eclairs. Ready and waiting. And none teaching. She's so proud of you. Everyone is. For God's sake, concentrate. So very proud. That's all I ask. Remember, Tiger. All the best. Don't let yourself down. The very best. Just up to you. We are all very proud of you. This way you find out. You're our star. About yourself. Remember to keep an eye on the time. If anyone has a problem, just put up your hand. Very well. You may now turn over your... Oh, sorry. Forgot something. Sorry. I meant to say, make sure what you write is neat and legible. There's no point getting something right if no one can read it. Right. Just wanted to say that. You may now turn over your paper. No whispering.
processable, like the center number, candidate number, surname and initials, signature, and the date. So all such in any calculation. Answer sheets may be used. Work steadily through. The paper. Do not spend too long on one question. So, my dear, we meet again. Let's have your first question, loser. Very well, then. Is the family a social or a biological grouping? Is that your best shot? You're dead meat. It's like you've been throwing me again. No doubt this will be yet another stare at a grade. You will become more of a high flyer, even more of a prodigy, and even more separate. Separate? Yes, separate. As in set apart, different, detached, isolated. Why should I be isolated? Because you are too brave. And I know you like one. I feel less intimidated by you. You're talking nonsense. And my idea? Cut your school friends. Do you, have, do you have as many as last year? Or the year before? Just shut up, okay? How often do you get in things these days, hmm? I said shut up. Party invitations have rather dried up, haven't they? I bet Anglicum gets more invites than you do. <laughs> I don't have to listen to you. Why not? Because you're imaginary. I created you and I can blot you out anytime I like. All some voices are harder to blot out than you are those, those, aren't they? Not really. No, I'm not. What I'm doing is the opposite of thinking. Thinking Jones things up. These are just individual words, forming a queue, pointless queue. <sighs> Got to do something. Perhaps if I try it her way, turn it into a game. Colonel stand for a name policy of the Imperial. Expansionism, edit and failure. Discuss. You don't even know where to begin, do you? You haven't the foggiest. Oh yes, you've studied Palmerston. You know all about Palmerston. But it's just a world of dates and facts. You can't possibly bring a shape to any, to any of it. That's far too difficult for a dim little plotter like you. Any moment now, you snap like a dry toad. Yeah, well, maybe I'll surprise you. I don't think so, Twin Boy. Uh, uh, let's turn you. Uh, I'm... I'm stronger than a twig! Then prove it! Make a start! Write something? You can't. You're going to fail again, aren't you? You've chosen the path marked We Shut your face, stupid dead! Are you sure you're right, Andrew? Oh, uh, sorry, miss. Uh, who are you shouting at? Uh, you see, it was... Myself, miss. I was shouting at myself. I can't tolerate shouting in an exam. No, miss. Permission to throw in music, miss. Oh, of course. Yes, go. <laughs> Alright, draw over. Carry on. I'm in the middle of a long division. Oh, right. Sorry. Math day. I have you there. Never be my strong point. And it's on your map now, isn't it? In my day. We... Look, Dad, I don't mean to be here. <coughs> it's lovely to see you. But math is probably the only GCSE I can, I can pass. And I really want nope. to. OK, I understand. You're all stars in the way. I'm always in the way. So that's that bus driver. You're not in the way. It's just. Well, well, why are you here? Do you know that it's going to be on my head? I know there was something. Oh, you've chosen a really bad moment. Have I? Maybe the moment you choose me. Eh? Well, I 
is when you get redemptions, like at Sora Summit. Oh, I see. So does that make you a projection of my subconscious mind? Could be. <laughs> or are you, you know, a proper supernatural being from another world? I wish I knew. You must have some idea. Why? I'm not management. I'm not idea what I am. Or why? Look, I really need to get off. I don't understand any of this. I mean, why am I all in white? I never like white. White makes me look fat. Always has done. Dad, I really need to get on. And I certainly wasn't wearing white when the bus hit me. Perhaps I should. Perhaps he would spotted me earlier. Dad, I'm trying to concentrate. I know, I know. I'm just saying that none of this makes any sense to me. I mean, how come you the one who can see me? Why can't this lot of you here just talking to me? Dad, I really need to do well in this. I know, I know. I shut up. Sorry, just get to me sometime. Why haven't you gone? I'm needing more support. I don't need your support. <laughs> well, that was not what you said. We knew that did last month, didn't it? You appreciate most of the my support then, didn't you? Dad, please. Would they give you the advice about the bras, Ralph? Yes, but... You've been fumbling away for hours, and then... There it was. The ears were telling them. You love them. Dad, stop! I'm trying to concentrate! Right. Sorry. Could be important for my future. Oh! Right. That what it was. I remember now. What? The future. This came to you that everything will be alright. Everything's going to be alright? Yeah. The future's going to be really happy. Just thought you'd like to know, because you're not a bit worried about it. Now anyway. See ya! Yeah, but wait a minute! Oh. Oh, that is so typical. Always bothering off when need him. You have one hour and fifteen minutes remaining. <coughs> I'm still here. I'm not listening. You're just a voice of self doubt. Are you sure you're right about that? I'm not listening. And I'm not imagining you in the chair with the cat anymore. In fact, I'm not picturing you at all. Oh dear, I can see I'm not match for you. That's right, Paul. You're one of my winners, aren't you? You're going to be a huge success. Not only very rich, and very thin. You probably own a lovely big house, a long way away from your parents. Isn't that a wealth that, wouldn't you? It saved you from all those uncomfortable conversations. For your information, I love my parents, but actually... You love them? Yes. But you are deeply embarrassed by them. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. They make you cringe. You're talking out your backside. I mean, this is naughty voice. I don't have a backside. My <laughs> parents and I are just fine, okay? Then why won't you allow them to be proud of you? Well, I... They are so proud. Poor dears. They place you on a very high pedestal. Trouble is, from up there. They do look awfully small on you, don't they? They're getting smaller all the time. And further away. Like your friends. I find it's good things are further away. As you get higher and higher and lonelier and... Right, that's, that's enough. I'm not listening. Something else. What? <laughs> I think what I was meant to say. What was it now? You know, you said my future is a happy one, right? Eh? Oh, yeah. Well, how can you possibly know that? Well, I can see the future, can I? Oh, wait. Haven't I mentioned this before? No, I don't think you have. Oh, right. I lose track. So, when, so how could you possibly see into the future? Well, I told you. I, I don't understand how any stuff works. What was the other thing I was meant to say? My memory never used to be this bad. So what is this happy future then? Well, I can't tell you the details, can I? But this will probably influence the future and the space and space time continue. That's basic graphic stuff. And besides, knowing what's gonna happen take the fun out of it. Like watching the highlight without the way you score. And immediately, I didn't consider when you're not going down the orange shooting. 
Then I thought to myself, no, we won't threaten him that experience. Oh, cheers. Then, what was it now? At least give me some idea. Will I have a kid since wife and stuff? Yeah, yeah, all of that. And the house? Yeah, yeah, nice house with a garden and a water feature. Then go tell him people I give this news to her. People might think you're another. Mom's the word. That's it. That's what? Mom. The other thing. I just wanted to say, try not to be too hard on your mother, okay? I know she's a craft mom, but she means well. She can help in a shambles. Which of us can? I know I can. Uh, is that it? Yep. Let you get on your work now. Hang on. Do you, do you see that kid over there? What? That's a zombie looking one? Yeah, well, could you just go over and tell her not to worry because everything will be alright? I'm exclusive to you, Sam. I can't see to his future. <laughs> Nobody would know that. He won't be able to see me. He's the one who can see me. Just try and make him see you. If I did, I'd probably scare the crap out of him. <laughs> it means that literally. Just try, please, and then I'll forget about the four birthday presents you owe me and the incident. Alright, alright. <laughs> Don't drop the brown to listen to it. Just try to uh, trying to come up with a rhyme. A rhyme? Yeah. For this limerick, there was a young woman from Putney who stopped both her nostrils with his chutney. But now I've lumbered myself with this odd neat thing for the last line. Wait, you're writing a limerick? Yeah. Is that a part of sociology exam? <laughs> no. Then don't waste your time messing about. That will affect your pass mark. I'm not after a bus mark. Hmm? <sighs> I've decided to kill for once. I'm tired to be being two brains. For someone so smart, you're really stupid, do you know that? I beg your pardon. You can't just deliberately fail an exam. Why not? Because it's an insult. An insult? Yes, an insult. To all stickers and plotter who have to work like mad. Just to scrape an E, and if someone with brains and ability like you deliberately fail just as some, some, some selfish cheap throw. Isn't that right, Andy? Oh god, he's really up with our fairies. Hey, not selfish cheap for you. Alright, so you fail sociology. Oh, how dare you. Like that's going to put a dent in your prospect. My prospect are? Brilliant. Doors will always open for you. Your life will be a dawdle. That's rubbish. Life hard when you are clever. Oh yeah, how's that then? Because clever people are never free. They always, always hatch in, in by exploitation. Always having your story written for you. Always willing to disappoint people. They're all worse things. Clever people are misfit. They 
they are they are affected with thinking. So they never have the lack of just just surrendering to the moment and feeling happy. They analyze and mentally pick away at, at all their scrap until they end up in theory groups feeling their gut are too to strangers. So what are you saying? That we stupid people are unlucky because we're too stupid to realize that, the, that we're miserable. Is that what you're saying? Well, I... Because we stupid people get stressed as well. It's just we can't afford the therapy. <laughs> you're not stupid. You just pretend to be. And anyways, you are the one whose life is going to be a doddle because you, you can talk to people. That's better than being clever and they ever like you. So everyone likes me? Yeah. Well, I suppose that's your roundabout way to asking me out for a date. Uh, Alright, you sucker me into it. I get this sooner or later. Those beautiful eyes would have got me in the end. You like my eye then? Of course I do. Any block would. They're gorgeous. Mm, how about Saturday? Mm, okay, that'd be nice. Yes, it will. One thing though, I only hang out with winners. I don't date Tom Pots who think it's cool to take a dive in an exam. Fair enough. Tom Pots? No more talking, please. I've got an E to get. Well, that's understandable if I'm getting a tad upset, Michael. Uh, yes, well, I resent the word hysterical. I don't see why it's hysterical to expect someone to keep their promises. Emily, calm down. I will not calm down. What does it matter if she knows? If everyone knows, you've always said your marriage was a sham. You did say that, Michael. You did. In the Holiday Inn in Slough, on one of our Tuesdays. I have a distinct memory of you saying your marriage was a sham and that you wished you could be with me all the time. Well, now that can happen, can it? I, I, I don't. You lied to me, skit! How can I be so totally stupid? I thought I meant something to you, but now I just realized I was just your... I hate myself for being such an imbecile. I hope you rot in hell, Mr. Michael Biggs. I've been humiliated. See, it happens to everyone. You have one hour, five minutes remaining. 